Hello, welcome to another tutorial by JC Web Concepts. My name is John. I'm going to go ahead and talk through some PHP basics. I'm not going to get too far into the PHP at this tutorial, uh, maybe a future tutorial. Uh, basically, when it comes to PHP, it usually uh, can be done in multiple ways or put in multiple locations. But for the basics, let's go ahead and just put it right here in the body. So to do PHP, we basically question mark PHP, and what we're going to do is we're just going to do a echo, hello world. Save that, push that up, and as you can see, hello world comes up. Now, let's say we do this. Is it going to work, or is it going to fail? It fails. So you need to make sure you have double quotes. A lot of times that can cause your program to error out because you miss a quote there. So basically I'm going to back. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to view the source. Now when you look at the source you actually don't see any PHP. It looks like a typical HTML file. You know very plain you know you got your head and things like that. Nothing spectacular. So Let's say you want that to be a header. You're saying, okay, how do I do that? Well, it's actually very easy. So we'll do h1. And we'll close that h1. Let's save it. Push that through. Refresh. Hello world. You use a source. Now you see again, you see that H that H1. You don't see, you know, anything else. So uh, people, you know, beyond seeing what the file name is, they really won't know. So let's see. So you're saying, oh, that's simple. What? I mean, I mean, where, where am I going here? I mean, I could just do that in standard HTML. Let's show some stuff that you can't do in H HTML. Let's actually define a variable. And we'll call the variable hello is equal to single quotes colon and we'll say hello world. And we are just going to echo Hello. And let's see if that works. Push that through. And now you got your hello world. So you basically what we did, we created a variable. A variable is a dollar sign and the name. Gotta be careful, there are some certain variable names you can't use. So you want to be careful with you know how you're naming. The single quotes is basically used for strings. So let's say, you know, we're not going to change the variable name, but let's say we wanted hello to be 24. I can actually go here, upload 24. You don't need the single quotes because that is not a string, that is an integer, it's a number. So it doesn't require that single quote. So basically, you know, it's that that's really not needed. So now you're saying, okay, that's all nice. So let's do this. Hello. So basically, we are going to do this.
File, save. Let's push that through. Uh-oh, it's not working. Why could that be? Okay, we have an echo statement there. We have the variable printing. Why, why isn't it working? Will that work? Let's see. There you go. Now, basically, you're doing this because when you echo, everything must be between double quotes. You have to do that. Uh, now, you know there are many very you know there are many things there. People say, well, why that? I mean, that's just the way it is when it comes to the coding. Just remember when you have your echo statement. That is why whenever I code. When I bring my echo statement, I do double quotes and then I do the, the colon there because I want that to be there so I don't forget it. So, I mean, right there, I think that's, you know, pretty much, I mean, we covered how to print a variable. We, um, or, excuse me, print out a statement or a string. I've also showed you how to define a variable and basically echo that variable and also to echo the variable with text along with it. So if you do like these tutorials, please subscribe, view my other stuff, uh, and keep, keep along because there should be some more tutorials coming soon. Thank you.